Hi, my name is Paul, uh, it's Matt behind the camera and today we're going to describe a recirculation aquaculture system that anyone can really have in their backyard. I'm on acreage here but as you can see it's with a small shed and uh, the tank, uh, this structure here, you really don't need a huge amount of room to grow probably 60, 80, 90, even 90 kilograms of fish in a period of uh, 18 months. We're in southeast Queensland and I'm on the Sunshine Coast so I just want to describe how the system works. Firstly what is a recirculation aquaculture system? Well first obviously you have a tank with water. It's got to be a highly controlled system because there's some big fish in there um, and it's not a lot of water so you've got to have every all the components in place to be able to grow fish and the components in, that you need for a recirculation aquaculture system are firstly a tank, a, uh, a good supply of water, um, any water will do, town water will do except that you've got to dechlorinate it but that's a very simple process um, you just leave it or you can use dechlorinate it but I'm able to use dam water but you can also tank water, water straight off the roof would probably be best. Um, then you need, the water, fish need aeration. Uh, there has to be plenty of dissolved oxygen in the water. And if you bring the camera a little bit closer, Matthew, I can just show. Okay, the, one of the most important things in a recirculation system, absolutely indispensable. Obviously you've got the tank, the water, but they must have a sufficient dissolved oxygen in the water because the fish are fairly tightly packed together. So if I can just show you here, we have four outlets, all pointing in one direction, and there's air stones in each one. The air comes from the little shed in there, I'll show you the aerator in a minute, through here, through this round uh, pipe, and then comes out here through these hoses, down into the air stone. At that the air stone puts out the water, it changes the water pressure and the highly oxygenated water pours out. So not only is it oxygenating the water, it's creating a current which is really good for fish. Fish need a current, it keeps their musculature up, especially in a system like this. It keeps their muscles going and um, the, the water is highly oxygenated and it's turning over. The next component is the filter. Now when a fish eat, or they uh, defecate, or they urinate, it creates ammonia. Now ammonia, let me just show you over here, is highly, highly toxic and poisonous to fish. So what we have here, and the bottom you can't see it, but there is a pump down there, an, an, an immersed pump. It pumps up here, it's from the bottom, right through the system, so it's moving from one part of the tank to the other, up through here, and then into this, which is just a molasses tank, large tank, and this tank is full of media. By media I mean it's full of these little balls like these things, if I can just show you that. These are hydroponic uh, popped clay beads, they're full of little, uh, believe it or not, holes in them, and that and the bacteria uh, exist in those. But it's also full of, and I've got it around here, sorry I'll put it away, I'll just be one second. All of this, this is orchard netting, because what you want to do in that is have a highly packed, is have a massive surface area, and what happens in is bacteria, the water's pouring through there, the oxygenated water's pouring through there, and bacteria build up on here, and they convert that ammonia from ammonia to nitrates, which is also toxic, but then to nitrites, which are Sorry, it's the other way around. Broke the convert into nitrites, and then which are toxic to fish, and then into nitrates, which are, are fish are pretty harmless to fish. So that water is carrying water with ammonia in it, and it's coming out here. If I can show you on the other side, going through this filter here, which is packed with this orchard netting and those little clay beads, it removes small particles, particles of, uh, of muck and other stuff and it comes out here 
through the filter, the bacteria have cleaned out the ammonia and it comes out here uh, with, with only uh, harmless nitrates. So that's the way you get rid of highly toxic, highly toxic substances in the water. Um, the whole system was pretty easy to build because I'm not, uh, I have made one mistake, the tank is far too big. That tank holds 7,000 litres. I really think I should have had about half that size, about a, a tank about up to there and about three and a half thousand litres. The problem is getting the fish out. Um, but anyway, that's the mistake I made and I live with it. But if you're going to do it, I'd suggest you get a smaller tank, probably three and a half thousand litres capacity, maybe four thousand. Uh, you can spend as much as you like on a filter system. I wouldn't bother, just a molasses tank, something like I've got, PVC pipe, uh, the pump costs $300. I'll just show you the aerator in the shed. Obviously you need a good system, you need electricity too of course. And um, if you've got a small, say, Titan shed like this here, I have, then you can, um, uh, you know, have a connected electricity. This is the, I'll put the light on, this is the, the aerator. This cost me $300 odd dollars. Uh, you can buy it at Aquasonic in Warhope, New South Wales, or you may have other suppliers in your own capital city. Fish. The fish we have. I'm fi we're on the Sunshine Coast, as I said, in uh, subtropical Queensland. I'm using jade perch. Now, um, that's the kind of the school of bar to a very, uh, very uh, uh, a fish that's got a lot of... Um, our uh, ability to uh, uh, stand up to most environmental conditions. The other one you can use in Australia is silver perch. I've grown out one crop of silver perch, they were beautiful to eat. Took a while. Um, there are problems, you know, with a big disparity in growth in some of them, but that's okay. Um, so I'll just show you these fish. The best fish by far, if you're living overseas, to use is tilapia. Tilapia are uh, by far the best fish to use in a recirculating system. Unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, they're illegal in Australia. And, uh, you, you know, there's a big fine for keeping them, so we don't use them. So I'm using jade perch. These are about half grown now, so I'll just show you these so that you know what I'm talking about. I have these covers because of all the gum tree covers and all the leaf litter. So. So there, there's three of the fish, if I can just show you. And that's the size of them at this stage. They're plump little fellas. Um, I'm going to grow them up to about, if I can just show you, to about, that's what I call jade perch, that slightly green colour. I'm going to grow them up to about uh, 700 grams, I hope. And that should take about another six or seven months now that it's summer. And then... And then we'll um, they'll be ready to harvest. They're an interesting fish because um, there's a lot of interest in them, uh, principally because of all the fish in the world. In fact, they have by far the highest. They have the highest content. They're a very oily fish. Okay, um, that's the basic overview, but. What I was going to say, the total cost is pretty reasonable. I mean, obviously you've got to have a shed, you've got to have electricity. The, the tank costs about $600, but this one's too big. You should be able to get one for $400. $60 for the tank, uh, another $50 for the piping, $300 for the pump, another $300 uh, for the aerator. So all up, you could set up a system for easily $1,200. And what can you get out of it? I reckon in uh, an 18 month period, 40 to 60 kilograms of fish, or even more. Okay, we've just about finished, but what I almost forgot to tell you about was a feed. We feed them a propri uh, proprietary mixture. Um, this is made by Ridley's in uh, Brisbane. Uh, it's a, actually, I've mixed it up with a GrowBest product, which is uh, uh, an imported fish food, which you can also get in Brisbane, but I'm sure most, most produce agencies sell fish food these days for basically five, five dollars a kilo and this is what we use. Obviously you've got to use a pellet which is the right size for your fish. 
Anyway, look, that's a basic overview of a recirculation system. It's a lot of fun. If you love fish, I suggest it may be for you. Okay.